to my Thrifty Plus viewers, this is not really my primary channel. My primary channel is Thrifty AV, link in the description. On that channel, I review budget and retro audio and video gear. But sometimes I review stuff that isn't really audio and video over there. So I think I should move some of that stuff over here to Thrifty Plus, starting with Garage Light Showdown. Here it is. Over the past few weeks, I've developed an interest in a certain type of lighting. And I'm not talking about studio lights like my soft boxes I use in here. I'm talking about garage lights like these. These are basically arrays of LEDs that plug into your typical Edison socket. And I have four different designs here, four different models. And I have a light meter and I have an electricity usage monitor. So I'll be able to test these out. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. The first of these lights I picked up was this one. It really didn't have a brand name. It just said Universal Folding LED Light. Uh, the price tag said $7.99, but there was a 15% discount at Ollie's where I picked this up. So I paid $6.79 plus tax for this. And on that same trip, I picked up this uh, three panel garage light. Uh, this is a Versa Beam Swivel. It was marked $16.99, but there was again a 15% discount. So I paid $14.44 for this light. Now, after I bought these, I checked out Amazon and I found this uh, five panel with a, kind of a center too, with lights in the center and five panels here. This came from the iSky Draw Store. Uh, I picked up a two pack. Uh, after discount, it was $19.89 uh, for the two pack. So this ended up being uh, $9.95 for this one. And also from the iSky Draw Store, is their six panel version. Again, I got the two pack. Again, there was a discount. These ended up being $12.15 each. Now having adjustable panels lets you position these lights in different directions. And of course that's gonna come in handy in a garage setting. But for today's demonstration, I'm gonna face all the lights forward on all of the lamps. You can't measure lumens with a light meter, but you can measure lux. And I have this placed one meter away, so I'll be measuring lux at one meter. I'm also gonna be seeing how many watts it's pulling. Right now, my studio lights are interfering. I need to turn them off. With the universal folding LED light, I was getting 512.5 lux at 21.5 watts. This lamp is rated at 36 watts. LampHQ.com has a Lux to Lumen calculator and at the distance and beam angle I was shooting at I can input the 512.5 and calculate that it's about 1609 lumens for this lamp. With the VersaBeam swivel I was getting 1824 Lux at 56 watts. This one is rated at 60 watts. That comes out to 5,727 lumens, which is pretty close to the 6,000 lumen rating printed on the box. The iSky Draw 5 plus 1 panel started at 888 lux and then dropped as it warmed up. It was drawing 24 watts, way short of the 150 watt rating. This came out to 2,788 lumens, which is less than one-fifth what was advertised on Amazon. The iSky Draw 6 Plus 1 started at 1186 lux and dropped as it warmed up. It was drawing about 35 watts, way short of the 200 watt rating. 
This came out to 3,724 lumens. Again, slightly less than one-fifth what was advertised. Not all LEDs are created equal, and they're different at different wattages. But as a general rule of thumb, you should get about 100 lumens per watt with LEDs. So even if you don't have a light meter, if you can measure the wattage that your LED lamp is using, you can get a good idea of how many lumens it's putting out. So in conclusion, the folks at Farpoint with their Versa Beam Swivel were pretty honest in their advertising. The folks at iSky Draw, not so much. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to patrons and members for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.